Hey, FlossTube. Thanks for watching. My name's Christina. This is my first FlossTube video. I thought I'd give this a shot since I've been watching a lot of you along the way and I thought it looked pretty cool and uh, a great way to join the, the cross stitch community. I live in Hawaii in Honolulu, smack dab, pretty much in the middle of town, um, about maybe a mile and a half away from Waikiki, maybe, maybe about a mile, maybe a little less than that, mile and a half, to, mile, mile and a half uh, to Waikiki. So all my windows are open right now. I'm, I'm in my living room. This is kind of like my, my crafting area. So you may hear like ambulances going by, police cars going by, I hear them all the time. Um, I live in my grandparents' house uh, that my grandfather actually saved from being torn down back in like the 1940s when he came here from Maui. So I'm on Oahu and um, my great grandparents immigrated to Maui from Portugal. And then my grandfather came here, bought this house. It was going to be torn down, and he was a carpenter, and he fixed it up. He lifted it up. He built an apartment underneath the house that we actually, um, the you know, rent out. And I used to live down there, and then uh, I, I moved up, up here. So I was uh, born and raised in Hawaii. And there's not a lot of cross-stitchers here, not that I know of. We have one LNS on this island. It's very, very small. And it's actually, it's pretty overpriced. So I, I tend to buy 90% of my stuff online, except for my DMC threads, which I go to Ben Franklin for. I know there's probably like no other Ben Franklins left in the mainland, but that's the only craft store that we have in Hawaii. We don't have Joann's or Michael's or Hobby Lobby. So when I end up going to the mainland to visit family or friends, or I'm vacationing up there, I always go to Joann's. I spend like hours in Joann's, Michael's, and Hobby Lobby, and I bring back probably like half a suitcase full of stuff that I can use to craft. So, um, let's see, a little bit about me. I was a teacher for 16 years. I taught English high school and middle school, and then um, the last four years that I was a teacher, I went to law school part-time at night, got my law degree, and I still work for the Department of Education in Hawaii. I work um, as a civil rights investigator. So, uh, I investigate civil rights issues and um, also ADA compliance issues uh, at 22 of our schools. I, I am assigned to a complex area in Hawaii and I have 22 schools under me. So that's what I do as part of my day job. I started stitching in high school. My aunt was a stitcher and she lives in California and she would always come to visit and I was like always intrigued by all this, you know, stuff that she was stitching. So I asked her to teach me and I bought a Suzy Zoo kit. I totally remember this and I I, I stitched it and I loved it and except for the fact that I miscounted on Susie the duck and so it always bothered me and and you know back then I didn't know how to fix it now as I, you know I've been stitching for let me think about this 20 something years almost 30 years now I know how to fix it so unfortunately I no longer have the first thing that I stitched because probably maybe like two or three years later I looked at it and because the duck looks so off I threw it away I know I want to like go back and kick my probably 18 19 year old self about throwing away that first cross stitch but I did want to share the second cross stitch that I ever did uh, this I did this um, I was a senior in high school and I finished this one this is a pot writer so uh, it's in the same frame I, I put it in it's on sticky stuff in fact I mean it's framed so badly this was the back this is like <laughs> this is the back so um but I, I just don't want to take it out. Maybe someday I'll take it out and, and reframe it, put like a red mat. This is the Big Island. I believe Big Island is, is red. So every every year we have Aloha Week and uh, people are designated as the Pa'u Riders. It's beautiful. We have a parade. I always loved watching the Pa'u Riders um, ever since I was a kid. And so um, I stitched this one. This was my second uh, cross stitch ever. Then the third cross stitch that I did, which probably kind of launched me into really, really getting into this was um, this one of Hawaii and I stitched this in college. So it actually took me a couple, a few years because I was really busy. You know, I was in college and in fact I finished it in 99. Um, and this was the first one that I ever got like professionally framed. And ever since this, this was it. This was like the, the launch and I stitched like crazy. Uh, most of the things I gave away, uh, a lot of things, my tastes have changed. So I no longer hang them in the house. They're like in the, the cabinet in my room. Um, but a lot of like Asian stitches, uh, geishas and samurais, um, you know, my daughter, I have a daughter, she's 13 years old, so her birth sampler is stitched, um, you know, and then some like 
really cutesy <laughs> children stitches, which my tastes have changed. Um, I've given a lot of my cross stitch away, and actually, I did lose my stitching bug for a little while. I cross stitched my my sister's wedding. Her flowers were um, hydrangeas. Um, silver lining has like these amazing flower patterns, and I cross stitched her a hydrangea. Well, a huge chunk of that was one over one, and I did it on I think it was Bloomin, and it just drove me nuts. I took like a year five year break from stitching every once in a while I jump back in and do something small um like a country cottage and it works or something like that but you know there was nothing big until about a year ago um I started joining up on these cross stitch groups because I was like you know I have so much cross stitch stuff and I'm just not stitching a lot anymore um I was doing other kinds of you know sewing and knitting and I, I crochet as well and so I was like oh maybe I should sell some of my stuff and so I jumped on, and uh, I actually joined Cindy Sorley's group, and she had just come out with her We the People fabric, and I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. And uh, I started following her group, and I just fell in love with stitching again. So for the past, like, maybe year and a half, I have been, like, major stitching. And I had, you know, um, I wanted to share some of my finish. I am, I am a chronic finisher, and then I don't frame it. I put it in this box in my closet. So I actually have a bunch of stuff. It's down here that I stitched years ago um, and I've actually made the decision to send some of them to the twisted stitcher to get it to get them finished because some of them are super cute and they deserve to be on display in my house because I still really like them so I wanted to share some of those with you this is um, oh, I forget who did this one I forget what the pattern is but this one is there's nothing like the warmth of the good friend and I just love it. I think it's so cute. I think it's, oh, what is his name? I can't remember. Um, but this was a great one. And so I want to have this made into like a cube um, or maybe a hanging. I think that would be really cute. So this is definitely one that I'm going to send off. Another one that I have in here. Um, this one I just, actually this one I just completed a little while ago. But I think I, I'm going to frame this one. I just need to like go find a really good frame. Is the Shire in the Evening. It's a really pretty fabric. It's denim -y. I just love this. And if you look really closely, there's a bunny. Gosh, let me see if I can point it out here. There is a bunny in the garden. There she is. I love this one. It's I love the Shire. I love magical stuff. I love Harry Potter. And oh, I just, it's so fitting for me. That one I think I'm going to get framed. Um, this is one of the Asian designs that I've done. This was actually done a while ago. I wonder if I dated this one. I kind of got into the habit of not dating mine anymore. But this was a kit. I think it was a Dimensions kit. I really, really like this one. Um, my boyfriend actually saw this when I was showing him all my old finishes. And he's like, that one needs to go on the wall. So this one's probably going to have to get framed as well. Work on framing that. Um, I just, I did do the Lizzie Kate Christmas stitch along this past year. And that was how it came out. I'm so bad. As I look at all of these and think, oh my gosh, these need to be framed and, and displayed some somehow. I think this one will have to be in a frame. I don't think that would be like a good uh, flat fold or anything like that. Um, okay, so these actually, okay, this one, I love this one. And I want to send this one to Jill Renzel for framing. I finished this some months ago. And I haven't done anything with it except roll it up, but oh, I love it. This is London Place's um, Headless Horseman, but I kind I put it on Cindy's fabric. So, so this is this fabric is from Cindy Sorley. It's her Pumpkin Road fabric, and so I didn't obviously didn't stitch the borders around the Headless Horseman, and then I added in the the gravestones and the bats. Now let me tell you why I added in the bats. I was only going to add in the gravestones. My daughter bought me a super sharp pair of scissors, and she was super excited, and they're great. I love them. They're like little clippers, and I had my needle minder on this, and I threw the scissors in the bag, and the needle minder was so strong, it pulled the scissors, and the scissors sliced my fabric. I had already finished everything. I had finished the gravestones, and I was like, oh my gosh, you got to be kidding me. So I decided to patch it with these with the, the bats. And 
I just I just love it. I want to send this to Joe Ramsell. I think it would look perfect. Um, so she'd just be able to find a perfect combination uh, to put this on. I did a Christmas one. I'm, I, I usually don't do a lot of Christmas ones. Um, but I really liked this fabric, and I, I loved this kit. This is a Dimensions kit, but I obviously didn't do it um, on the, the stocking fabric. I want to get it framed. This is the Dimensions kit Santa's motor car. I did it on Cindy's fabric again. I just love, I love these fabrics. I, they're just, they're wonderful to stitch on, and I use cat parsing needles, so it's just, ugh, it just glides through these things. And I just love this one. I don't know yet if I should get it framed. If I frame it, I'm thinking like a red frame. Um, or do it as a hanging. I'm really, I'm really not sure if any of you have any suggestions on how to finish this one up. Uh, I would totally, totally take them. But it just, this one always makes me smile. It's just so, it's just so happy. Very, 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 very happy. And then, um, oh, this is my Dragon Dreams one. I think I want to get this one done into a black one. So this was... Dragon Dreams, Lost Little Dragon. I actually stitched this, I think, when my daughter was like four, and I was going to put it in her room. She's 13 now. So <laughs> it's, just, it's been in this box for a really long time, and this poor dragon needs to see the light of day. I Maybe a flat fold. I think um, this is one that I'm going to send to the Twisted Loop stitcher to get to get stitched. So uh, I belong to Stitch Mania on um Facebook. So you, many of you may have seen this one. I just finished this last week and I love her. This is my time traveler and it is on Dragon Cellar fabric. She just pops. I mean, those is just the beating. This is probably the most beating I have ever done. Ever, ever done. I mean, I just, she's just, she's just beautiful. Um, and I also want to send her to, to Joe Rensel to get to get framed. I just I just love her. I mean, she's just perfect. And uh, I'm still toying with this idea. I stitched her because she reminds me of Missy from Doctor Who. I love Doctor Who. Star Wars, Star Trek, like I, I love kind of stuff. I'm a, I'm a geek at heart. Um, I was thinking of doing like a peekaboo TARDIS, so, like over here on this. I wanted to do it coming out of this one right here. Just like a little bit of the blue coming down. So you can kind of tell it's a TARDIS, or like I would know it's a TARDIS. I don't know if you know if, if you're not a Doctor Who fan, then you may not know. Um, but I'm still toying with that idea. So I may I may add that uh, to this. I, I I have more stuff in the box, but um, these are probably my favorite pieces that haven't been you know completely finished yet, but are, are done being stitched. So I, I definitely need to to get my butt in gear and and do something with them. So since I just finished My Time Traveler by Joan Elliott, I, I really don't know what to start yet. <coughs> I actually have some whips. I have done um, one of my whips is Mirabilia's Mermaids of the Deep, and I was thinking of just saving my whips for the next video that I do. So I'll have a lot to share. I did start this one. This is from Nashville Market. I believe it was a limited edition kit. It's from Praiseworthy Stitches. It's the little little bluebird necklace kit and I, I just started it. I mean it's barely barely done. I started this the other day. It's one over one um, and that was the recommended. It goes into this little necklace when you're done. Amazing. Crimping beads all over the place. It doesn't matter because I'm going to give this to my sister to finish. It came with this. It Basically, you just tie it in a knot, but I don't like that. Um, I just I, One, I would worry about it falling off um, my neck. Two, it just I just don't like the string part. So I'm going to put it into the, the, be the bevel, I guess what you call it, which I love because look at the back of that. Oh, my gosh, it's so nice. Um, so I will be putting it into this, and then my sister makes jewelry. She's not a stitcher. She's a jewelry maker and a, a sewer. And I'm going to have her create some kind of necklace for me um, once I finish that. So that is my newest one. I'm also working on, well, there's a few I'm working on. And so, like I said, I'm going to save that for the next, the next, the next time. But this necklace uh, is not going to take me very long. 
So I kind of wanted to show some other things that I'm thinking about starting up. And if you guys have suggestions on which one, you know, you like, uh, if you agree with my pattern choices and, and my fabric choices, then please, you know, comment below and let me know. So let me put this on the side. So the first, first one is my sister wants me to make this for her. It's not counted cross stitch. It's stamped. And I, you know, Hobby Lobby was having that huge sale. Well, my mom happened to be visiting my sister in California when it was going on. So I told her, please, you have to stop by Hobby Lobby. And she came back with like a ton of kits for me. This one, I was like, what's that? Because I was like, I, you know, she had FaceTime me. And so I was like picking out the ones I wanted. That one, that one, that one. And she goes, oh, I don't know. I thought that one was cute. And then come to find out it was because my sister told her to get it so that I would make it for her. So this is a, it's a stamped kit. Um, and it shouldn't take me too long. So that's one of the ones I may start. I'm not too excited about stamp. The last time I did a stamp design, um, I made, you know, the stamped toddler blanket covers. I, I, that was before my daughter was born, I made one for her and made a blanket for her. And that was the pretty much the only stamp kit I've ever done. But um, my sister wants it. She wants to frame it and put it in her house. She loves Mason jar stuff. So this may be a start for me. The other one I'm thinking of doing is a boxy kit. I was just looking at it today, and unfortunately the picture's inside. But it's the um, Paint the Roses red one. I love Alice in Wonderland. I love Disney. I used to be a cast member at the Disney store here in Hawaii, um, and for almost three years I worked there in college, and so I love Disney. And I just, I love this one. I love the Cheshire Cat. He's one of my favorite villains you want to call him a villain. He's just kind of mischievous to me. But it came with some really beautiful fabric. So as you know, the fabric, uh, you know, pretty much matches the, the cover photo. So this is the fabric of that one. It's so pretty. The colors are amazing. So I may start that. I think that would be it. You know, after having like all the color changes and the ones that I just finished, this may be a nice nice little break. So that's another one that's going through my, my head right now. Um, this one's super cute. This is probably last on my list right now for starting. This is my big toe designs. Miracles happen if you keep the skinny jeans. I think this is my motto. Um, I try, I try to, to, to take to Goodwill some of my, my pants and my jeans that no longer fit me. I'm still trying to get back down to a size 8. I'm like a size 10 right now. I've been a size 10 for probably 10 years. <laughs> I'm, I'm still hoping that one day I'm going to be back to being uh, a size 8. Um, but that may not happen, but I still have a pair of shorts that I am saving just in case. So that one, again, that one's probably last on my list, but that's one that I'm thinking about doing. Another one that's been going through my head, um, and I need to flip the chart on this one, which is probably why I haven't done it yet, is this eagle one right here. I want to do the flag and the eagle, not the America Going backwards on the video, not the America part, just the flag on the eagle. And I want to flip it. And the reason I want to flip it is because I want to put it on Cindy's pledge fabric. So I want to put it on this fabric and I want to put it on this side. And so I have to flip the chart. So I've got a, I've got a Xerox machine at work that I can try playing with to see if I can flip it. I also have a printer at work, but that's another one that's been going through my, my mind. And I think if I had finished Time Traveler before 4th of July, then I probably <coughs> definitely would have would have done that. Sorry about the coughing. I'm actually, I actually got diagnosed with bronchitis about two weeks ago. I had to go into like urgent care and get all kinds of steroids and antibiotics and then inhaler and it's it's gone down to like 95% of what it used to be. So I've still got 5% of that tiny little cough left. Okay, this is my last one that uh, I'm thinking about doing. So if you haven't heard of Lena Lawson, I love her designs. You know, she does gnomes and fairies and they're so cool. And so this is little Krampus um, and uh, he just... <sighs> I just adore him. I mean, he's so he's got that mischievous look in his eye. He's got all the coal in his bag, and it just totally, I, I, I just, I love it. So I want to put him on another one of Cindy's fabrics. Um, let me just put this up here. This one 
is like Christmas fabric. This would be, it's a 16 count. And I want to put them smack dab in the middle. Is it upside down? It is upside down. Smack dab in the middle of that, that square. And this one, I would have to, you know, frame this in the matching words. But he would say he's totally going to fit. It's already been measured, and he would fit right in the middle there. So um, that's the other one that I'm thinking about doing. So if you have a suggestion or you like one of these, and you know, comment below. Um, we'll see which one gets the most folks to, to start. Or I may just start one anyway. Who knows? I'm probably going to finish the bird, bird one tonight. Um, if, it, if my eyes don't go bad, I'm not in the dark yet. <clears throat> so, I wanted to just, you know, start off with a short video. So this is a really short video. I don't even think I've gone like 20 minutes. I don't, let me check. Does it even tell me the time on here? Yeah, like 20 minutes. So I think that's a good enough video to start. Just to tell a little bit about me. Um, you've seen a little bit about what I stitch, and so you kind of know like what I like. Uh, I, I'm on Instagram, Prostitcher in Paradise. I'll put it up here below. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, follow my little adventures. Um, probably in, you know, consequent uh, videos that will come later, my dog will pop into them. I have a dog. He's a terrier mix, and he's a rescue from our Humane Society. And I also have a cat. She's a calico, and she is also a rescue from our Humane Society. So I, I love animals. I love rescue animals. And so both of them may pop into the video. You may hear him barking sometimes. Um, we have lots of people that walk up and down our street, and sometimes he does not like them. Um, my daughter may pop in. Unfortunately, she doesn't like to stitch, but she loves crafts. So she likes, she's actually learning how to quill. She has her own slime business, and that's pretty cool. Um, she just, she loves paper crafts. And she does, she knows how, what cross stitch is. She's seen me cross stitch. She always admires what I do, but she has absolutely no interest uh, in doing it at all. Um, my boyfriend, he actually, he, he's always amazed at what I can do at cross stitch. And then he's always like, can you teach me how to do it? So he's actually done a stitch. The reason I don't like him to do a stitch is because once he's done one stitch on one of my, my items, then he says he's helped make it. And that is like his motto. No, you have to, I, I helped make it. I helped, I helped you. No, you did a stitch. <laughs> that's all, that's all you did. But it's really cute. He's really interested. He, he listens to me talk about cross-stitching and, and what it is and, and all the different acronyms that we use, like whips and, um, all the different colors and things like that. And, and he's, um, very, very supportive of, of stitching. So that's all for now. Um, please follow me on Instagram, subscribe if you want, and I'll be watching a lot of you later on tonight uh, when I get home uh, from going out to dinner at my mom's house. Uh, so aloha guys. Have a great rest of your weekend. It's only like two o'clock here on a Sunday in Hawaii. Um, I'm sure it's pretty late up there once I upload this video, but have a good week. I'll probably come back in about two weeks and do another video a week or two weeks. I do have some stitching mail coming, so I'm going to be sharing that in the next video. And then I'm sure I'll have a lot of whips to share as well. So thank you for joining me on my first one. I was a little nervous. Um, and I hope you guys have a great, great rest of your week. Bye.